These initial cartoon smooches took our breath away. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 first kisses in animated shows. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the first kisses between animated characters from cartoon television series. These can either be their first real kiss or the first time we actually see them kiss. Because these kisses often signal the start of a relationship or take place in the show's final episode, there could be some spoilers ahead. Come on, you need a hug. Thank you for your concern, Kintara. Number 10, Ruby and Sapphire, Steven Universe. Okay, Sapphire, I gotta get dressed for a big day now, so no peeking. And no future vision either! <laughs> okay. While most of the entries to come feature first kisses that often herald the beginning of a new relationship, or at least deepening attraction between two characters, this is one between two characters in an established relationship. What I mean is, you changed my life. And then, I changed your life. And now, we change our lives. Ruby and Sapphire are both female alien crystal gems who have been in a relationship throughout the show to the point where they're often fused into the same person, Garnet. However, it took five years and their marriage, which was one of the first LGBTQ plus ones to appear in a cartoon, to finally get the pair to lock lips. I now pronounce you Garnet! <laughs> Number nine, Danny Phantom and Sam Manson. Danny Phantom. These two best friends have shared plenty of danger together facing down ghosts, but it takes them until the series finale to finally realize they want to share more. When we make it through this, I have a few things I need to talk to you about. I think I'd be willing to listen. Although Danny and Sam have done a few fake-out makeouts, pretend kisses meant to allay suspicion, this is their first genuine kiss. This whole ride we've been on together, I wouldn't change it for the world. Not one bit. Me neither. I... The smooch is the prospect of Danny enacting a desperate plan to save the world from an asteroid that finally pushes them to admit their feelings for one another. Fans of the show certainly felt like they'd gone ghost and died from happiness at seeing Danny and Sam get together at last. Sam, I could never have done any of this without you. And I don't care what's coming next. I just hope that whatever it is, you're there to share it with me. I will be. I just have to warn you, I'm no pushover, you know. I still have my own way of doing things. That's what I'm counting on. Number 8. Green Lantern and Hawkgirl – Justice League While they often argue, Jon Stewart or Green Lantern and Shira Hall, also known as Hawkgirl, have great chemistry with each other. What is it with you? Every time we're together, you're like this. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Despite several almost kisses, a crisis is what makes them face their feelings for each other. Green Lantern is gravely injured when saving Hawkgirl from an explosion, causing her to abandon the current mission to get him to safety. John! John! No. When he wakes up and recovers, John wants to pursue things further, since his brush with death has left him tired of waiting. We've got things to talk about. It can wait. Not anymore. I'm tired of waiting. You know how I feel about you. John. And I know you feel the same way. Although Hawkgirl tries to make excuses for why they shouldn't pursue a relationship, she ultimately concedes that her arguments are flimsy, and they share a kiss against the backdrop of the planet down below in a very romantic moment. Number 7. Lisa Simpson and Nelson Muntz – The Simpsons The middle Simpson child, Lisa, has several notable first kisses with Springfield boys, and while it's sweet to see her finally kiss her longtime crusher, Milhouse, we had to give our pick to her first smooch with Nelson Muntz. Lisa likes Nelson! She does not! Milhouse likes Lisa! He does not! Jamie likes Milhouse! She does not! Una likes Milhouse! Nobody likes Milhouse! One episode sees Lisa crushing on the school bully and her attempts to get to know him better. Nelson's character is fleshed out and he genuinely has fun with Lisa, 
culminating in a kiss on a date to the town observatory. <gasps> My first kiss. I always wondered what it would be like. This ought to shut her up. Hey. This isn't so bad. While Nelson naturally returns to his old ways by episode's end, his kiss with Lisa is still a notable moment for both characters. Oh man, you kissed a girl. That is so gay. Number six, Gumball Watterson and Penny Fitzgerald, The Amazing World of Gumball. The titular blue cat and his peanut friend, Gumball and Penny have a long-standing mutual crush, and while both of them are aware of how the other feels, they have trouble expressing it to each other. Now that the fairy's curse has been lifted, we can finally seal our love with a kiss. This is really happening? Is there no kiss in rehearsals? I kind of improvise. But that all changes when Gumball accidentally cracks Penny's shell when the two of them appear in Beauty and the Beast. While he encourages her to live outside of it, his delayed response in telling her what he thinks of her appearance leads her to shapeshift into a rampaging creature. Whatever is inside, we can deal with it together. Gumball eventually catches up with Penny and tells her how he really feels with a kiss, bringing out her inner beauty. That's not what you are. It's just how you feel. And this is how I feel. <gasps> Number 5. Cat Noir and Ladybug Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir Another superhero romance, Adrian Agreste, or Cat Noir, has a crush on Ladybug, the alter ego of his classmate Marinette Dupeng Chang, who likes him but not Cat Noir. I've got a Valentine's gift for you! As Cat Noir, he frequently flirts with Ladybug, but when a magical arrow that turns love to hate turns him against Ladybug, the only way she can snap him out of his uncharacteristic behavior is with a kiss, to remind him of his real feelings. Finally, I'll find out who you are, Ladybug! Your little secret will be out of the bag! Although their secret identities remain intact, it's still nice to see these two get the kiss they want, even if both of them aren't aware of it in the moment. I look at you and wonder your innermost thoughts and dreams. Yes, your Valentine I will be, our love will be so true. Together for eternity, my heart belongs to you. <gasps> uh, well, anyone who writes as sickeningly sweet as you must be your soulmate. It isn't signed. Uh. Number 4. Marceline and Princess Bubblegum – Adventure Time The epic finale of Adventure Time had a little something for everyone, including romance. It would look like Will happen, happening, happen Will happen, happening, happen And there we are again and again One of the show's more subtle and gradual romances occurs between Marceline the Vampire Queen and Princess Bubblegum with hints of attraction sprinkled throughout the series. This all culminates in the finale when it looks as though PB is killed, prompting Marceline to take enraged revenge on her attacker. Thanks. The princess is revealed to be alright though, and after a tearful and relieved hug, they kiss, finally confirming fan hopes and theories once and for all. I don't want to lose you again. Hey, I'm a tough gum. Nothing never happening to me. Never. I know, I'm... Girl, you phrased that so weird. I might have a concussion. <laughs> Number 3. Phineas Flynn and Isabella Garcia Shapiro – Phineas and Ferb These two neighbors have a somewhat mutual crush on one another, and even kiss several times during the series, though it's always in a dream or undone by memory erasing or something. Hey, Speedy Thumbs, text Loverboy and tell those guys we have a plan to get Isabella and Phineas together. In fact, their first proper kiss doesn't even happen until a flash-forward episode near the end of the show. I sort of gave up when we got to high school. Yeah, I think that's when I started having a thing for you. In it, Phineas finally realizes that Isabella likes him, and their friends all try to get them together before Isabella leaves for college. We have been trying to get you two together all day! You guys are the best. So, what did I miss? It was as if love had kicked them both in the face. They eventually do figure things out, leading to a temporary farewell kiss that was definitely worth the wait. Phineas! What are you doing? This. Oh! 
Number 2. Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable Kim Possible Longtime friends and partners in crime fighting, Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable are as close as friends can be, despite their differences. Your friend is an excellent customer, still filled with childlike wonder. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. However, it isn't until Kim begins showing interest in another guy before prom that Ron begins to realize how he feels for her. While he's initially afraid of telling her so as not to ruin their friendship, he ultimately confesses when her date turns out to be an evil creation of their nemesis. You really think there's a guy out there for me? Out there? In here? Oh, really? Sure. After returning to prom together and dancing with one another, they share their first kiss finally confirming to each other what the audience and the rest of the school already knew, that they're perfect together. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I got a problem with you. I've seen your type before. Probably sarcastic, think you're hilarious, and let me guess, you're traveling with the Avatar. Do I know you? You mean you don't remember? Maybe you remember this. Suki! Any last requests? Just one. You know how I feel about you, right? How we both feel. Yes. Good. Number 1. Aang and Katara Avatar The Last Airbender Us kissing. <laughs> Us kissing? What was I thinking? Can you imagine that? The eponymous Last Airbender Avatar and his waterbender friend and ally, Aang and Katara actually share several kisses during the series. But like that time in the cave and when Aang kisses Katara before going into battle, those either took place off screen or were one sided. Aang. Don't say that. Of course he'll- Ooh. Our pick has to go to the one that closes out the series itself, when, with the War One and the future bright, the two young heroes share a mutual kiss and begin their romance in earnest, helping end the show on a high and optimistic note. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here. I feel in my bones.